that could happen to any one of us, you know. It might happen to me right now. <laughs> but let's hope God carry us through this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beverly Jenkins. I have a short essay that I would like to read to you. The truth is, I never wanted to drop out of school. But when I was a young girl, my father did something unspeakable to me. He raped me. It scarred me very deeply. After that, I dropped out of school and, and they, sent me to, uh, they sent me away to live with my aunt. But her family was very, very poor and things were not better there for me. The abuse actually continued. And so I ran away at the, age, at the tender age of 14. I was out of school and living on, my, and living on the streets. I miss my family, but at that, at <clears throat> I already had forgotten the value of school. I tried going back to school at 19, but I didn't, but it didn't work out. On the street, things kept getting worse and worse for me. People you turn to, people you turn to for help don't always have your best interest in their heart. With no home, no guidance, I walked the streets, I, I, walk, I walked through the fire of hell. I spent time in jails, hospitals, in cheap motels, crack houses, and in the, in, in, the seedy, in the seedy place of despair. No matter where I went, the pain and torment followed me. I tried going back to school a couple of more times, but it never worked out. I was All through my life, people had to read my mail for me. I always, I was always embarrassed for people to know that I could not read and, uh, and my mail was important. One day when I was 41 years old, I fainted in, in a homeless shelter and I was paralyzed for five months. The doctor did not think that I would live, but after they had put the right feeding tube in me, I got up. When I got up, I thought that God must have another plan for me. I felt like I had died, and now was my chance to have a new life. I told myself I would never touch any kind of drugs again and I decided to go back to school for good this time. After looking around for a place, after looking around for a while, sorry, I found Literacy Partner. I came here five years ago with a second grade reading level. Can you imagine that? A second grade reading level for an adult. As an adult. Well, Literacy Partner took me in and I started going to class every day and it paid off. The day I got my GED was the happiest day of my life. But Literacy Partner did not say congratulations and goodbye. They said, let's start your computer class now. They said, let's start college prep now. So I did. And you know what? The day after I made this video, I got my college acceptance letter in the mail, and I am going to college in September. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With my college education, I want to be of service to others. 
I want to help others to find the healing that I have found. And, with, and most of all, I want to write a book about my life. I don't know if there is anyone here tonight who knows anything about publishing a book, <laughs> but that's my goal. <laughs> that's my goal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought you'd get a crack out of that. Thank you. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, and bless you. Bless you all. Bless you. Bless you. I want my story to be an example for others. I want people to know that no matter how lost you might be, how much pain or torment you may feel, there is always hope. There is always help. I don't want any other child to ever go through what I went through. I, w I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for supporting Literacy Partner. I could not have turned my life around without them. Thank you for being here tonight and for listening to me. Your support for this wonderful program means the world to me and to many other students here at Literacy Partner who have no other place to go. God bless you and thank you all very much. God bless you. God bless you.